Hello, everybody. Welcome to HTC Invitational. I'm your host, Nimsh, and I'm joined here by my co-host, Monk. We are in front of the last match of the day. We had seven matches, 14 great players, actually. Doing a quick math, Monk, can, we help, uh, can you help me a bit? Like, seven times two is 14, right? That's probably correct, Nims. If I know okay. my multiplication tables. And who is going to play next? Who's going to play next? Oh, well, it's going to be other, none other than Trump playing on his own channel. Pretty exciting, right? Oh, man, Trump. we can watch Trump on his own channel. That's amazing. I can't wait. And uh, his opponent will be Chucky. So um, Trump, the mayor of Valley Town, the owner of this very channel, versus Chucky from Team Dignitas. What do we know about those players? Oh, both Again, both uh, American players. And we're going to see a lot of American versus American rivalry. We have uh, earlier today, of course, we had... Tides defeat Zelay and Strife Crow defeating Dog. We're going to see which American can pull it out this time. Trump and Chalky, both very respected players, and uh, both players that have done fairly well recently. Trump, of course, qualifying for the ESL Legendary Series Season 2, and Chalky uh, barely not qualifying. I believe he got second place um, in the ESL Legendary Series, both uh, last time in Season 1, and also he just barely failed to qualify this season. So both amazing players, players who played Hearthstone from the very beginning, from the very beta or even alpha, um, both my good friends, and uh, playing here at this tournament sponsored by HTC. So a big shout out to HTC for um, making this happen, like making us uh, casting it and uh, those players, inviting those players. We'll have $5,000 prize pool. The winner takes 2500 for himself. And this is single elimination format, best of five conquest. So whoever wins now will advance to play versus Strife Crew tomorrow. Whoever loses is eliminated from the from the tournament. And uh, oh man, I'm so excited to see Trump. Like I haven't seen Trump playing in constructed uh, lately, but he's really high in the in the rankings, in the world rankings right now. He is, isn't he like top top 15 in the world right now? I mean, that sounds about right, especially because of course he did win the ESL Legendary Series qualifier. And then he had to win at least like quite a few matches in order to win that tournament. He also did fairly well in the Kingwin Pro League, probably better than what most people uh, uh, anticipated because he almost qualified to the playoffs, just missing it by about a few games. All right, so game number one is ready. The ace player from TSM versus the ace player from Team Dignitas are going to face each other here in this death match. Hunter oh, versus Druid. Shots fired to Crip there. Are you saying Crip is a worse constructed player than Trump? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll just let that stick then. So, from Trump's opening hand, we are kind of seeing perhaps Ramp Druid or more of a Wall Druid. Yeah, it's already interesting to see how it's out. It's like Trump is having. Trump loves value, and uh, he showed it multiple times. Uh, bringing those interesting decks. He loves Druid. And, um, you know, Taunts plus Kalfazad. That's value. That's Trump. And uh, I'm excited to see that deck. So Trump is bringing overall Druid, Warlock, and Warrior. Um, a lineup we've seen a couple of times. Uh, instead of Hunter taking the Druid. Uh, against Chucky's Hunter, Mage, and Warlock. So a bit of a mix-up again. Bringing uh, Mage instead of Warrior. Might be Freeze Mage. Might be Mech Mage. True. Wow, well, what... Uh... What a great start for Trump. Double Zombie Chow. I guess probably one of the best starts you could hope for. Um, and Wild Growth on turn two would even make this hand a lot better even. Well, it seems that this Druid is super heavy anti-aggro. Just uh, seeing those stones before and Kalfazad. Right now having those the Zombie Chow with, um, with the swipe. Uh, for Chucky though, really probably a hybrid. It's looking like a face hunter for now. But it might be hybrid or something something else. Like, Chucky is bringing different hunter builds. Like, Chucky is also a hunter innovator. So if he brings his own brew of a hunter, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Definitely, like, he, he knows hunter in and out. Definitely, the whole of Team Dignitas is pretty much, like, all the best hunter players. You had uh, Chucky. Blackout is also fairly a well-renowned hunter player. Green Sheep plays a lot of hunter. And even when Nine Man was a team, on the team, he was like a very respected mid-range hunter player. 
I think they have a rule in Team Dignitas that if you want to join, you have to have all the golden cards in your Hunter deck. Fair enough, fair enough. And uh, we can see it right now. So, Haunted Creeper, is it going to attack and try to snipe that shade? That it's going to not. face. But you know what? The, he's about to get wrecked right now because with the uh, swipe here, I think there's going to be very little chance for Chalky to come back from this game from such a huge board deficit. Yeah, and no chance for the for the knives to actually kill the, the shade. Okay, so uh, it looks amazing for Trump. Just cleared. He has minions. He has a sludge belcher. He's a silence. And an engine of war. So Trump just building up a taunt war, uh, taunt wall here with all those those creatures. Even though Chucky got double Lepernome. Yeah, so, it is it is a dream, of course. But I guess w, double uh, zombie chow does a pretty good job against double Lepernome. Oh yeah, Monk. How often do you dream about double Lepernome? Uh, well, I'm not Unib, so not too often, I'd say. I mostly just get them in my opening hands, so never dream about them. Okay, I see. So if you have them, you don't dream of them because you already have them, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you're getting used to it. All right, so Tram just playing that Sludge Butcher, and uh, right now we can even start attacking. This is this is crazy. He's so ahead. Uh, an Iron Big Owl would be nice, I believe, but uh, Chucky might be forced to trade here. Like even if he gets the Explosive Trap from the Mad Scientist, doesn't do much. Explosive Trap, probably not the best one here. Um, you can even, if it's like Freezing Trap, which I sp suspect it is because this is a hybrid hunter, then the Zombie Chow will be able to proc the Freezing Trap. I think that Trump also bringing, uh, brought this, uh, this Druid because he knows the playstyle that Chucky is sporting. Even though Chucky is known for his Freeze Mage play, he's originally known uh, to be a, a very aggressive guy, bringing all those aggro decks. So Trump choosing to bring a Taunt Druid, uh, which is the first in this tournament. I ha we haven't seen a Taunt Druid before. Um, that's a pretty good deck versus uh, this kind of Hunter. So with two other decks that Trump is bringing, let's say he brought uh, maybe a Handlock and a um, Control Warrior, he might be aiming for that Hunter, so that Hunter will never win. Yep, definitely true. Yeah, we, we definitely see like Trump, he actually prefers Control Warrior to Patron Warrior in tournaments. So I think that's a very good call. Definitely a possibility here. Chucky, okay. unfortunately, he might have to start playing the Control game because he's staring at a lot of damage and an ever-growing shade as well. So using Arcane Golem to kill the 5-4? I think you can just perhaps use the kill command here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so buying himself a bit of time to draw into those burst cards. Use the hero power, but then there is bad news for Chucky. Engine of War. It's just waiting for him. Trump decides to kill the beast instead of the bigger minion, uh, which I like. Just uh, denying the beast synergy. Wow, even with the Eagle Horn bow, Chucky is not able to go for the blueberry. I guess it is a blueberry. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. It's, it's one of those things where, like, once you mention it, I can't unsee it. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, right? The blueberry taunts. So Chucky concedes and Trump takes game number one versus Team Dignitas player. Uh, one for, CNTM, uh, for TSM. TSM Warnard, game number one. Uh, what yep. now? Game two. Yes. Well, Chucky has to try to get a win with that Hunter deck, and uh, it might be difficult, like you said, against the the rest of Trump's lineup, which might be geared towards uh, countering that Hunter. So, Control Warrior now? Would you take Control Warrior, if you have Control Warrior, being Trump? Or would you take your anti-aggro Warlock? Uh, yeah, I would definitely probably go for the Control Warrior here. It just seems like a, probably a more stable deck. Um, just overall, I like it a lot. What do you think about bringing Green Patron though? Because Green Patron is also anti-aggro. Like, it counters all the fast matchups really well because it trades with the minions, they can't deal with stuff. Like, it's good versus Mech Mage, it's good versus Hunter. 
It's good versus Zoo. I feel like uh, Trump has never been like the type of player to bring combo decks to tournaments, though. Uh, back when Miracle Rogue was popular, Trump kind of tried to stay away from it. And um, just Grim Patron Warrior, I just feel like it's not Trump style. Trump is, of course, the mayor of Value Town, so he kind of prefers more of those decks that are like very control heavy. They go to the late game and just try to grind your opponent out. It's just his style. Alright, so we already can see that this is the Contra Warrior. Bro was giving that away with Shield Maiden as the follow up, and Shaq just queuing in his face hunter again. I don't remember if he was playing high mains. Oh, well, not this game, but uh, before. I've seen uh, Chucky's Hunter, and uh, I couldn't tell what the, what the build is. I believe the last time I saw Chucky, he was playing Face Hunter with Web Spinner. That's why it was really confusing if it's um, Face Hunter or not. I think Worgen yeah. Infiltrator's Infiltrator gives the way. Yeah, it's just the uh, the various... Like, the, the Hunters are getting very confused and muddled these days. There's, like, so many ways you can build Hunter. And I've actually seen uh, Chucky uh, use a 30-card Hunter deck before. He just throws in one card uh, of everything, one, a one-of of everything, and it just somehow works. Because there are actually 30 viable cards they can put in Hunter decks these days. And uh, that's actually great. That means that um, there is a, a lot of different builds they can use. Not like Druid, where you always have the same 12 cards because they are so good. Okay, so here you're getting a Misha. Um, is that good? Is that bad? There is a Shield Slam. So it seems fine. Like You'll be able to kind of slam after the block. Kill one of the minions with the fireworks. Uh, prepare for Death Spite next turn. Chuck is just continuing to deal damage. Hunter Creeper is nice. And you do hero power, I believe. Even though Glaive Zuka is going to provide some damage, you do want to use hero power as often as possible as Zek. Like, because he's almost out of cards already. But uh, then again, Trump is at 19. Armor Smith uh, might be useful. Yeah, it, I would say people will probably play it on turn 5 once he uh, he can get a Death Spite charge off of it as well. Yeah. He's just getting another armor. Uh, yeah, but like you said, Chalky is kind of running out of cards at this moment. Trump deciding to um, deny the beast might be because of a kill command, might be because uh, he's playing around Hellmaster. Um, the downside is he's going to take, I believe, three more points of damage because of that. Um, I don't think he's... Because Glaive Zuka was drawn, I don't believe he's going to take uh, any more damage. Like, it's the same amount of damage as, as if he went for face the previous turn and hit the Haunted Creeper on this turn. Alright. Because he takes one more damage from the extra spider, but one less damage from... He doesn't have to hit the spider on this turn when it's, uh... It would have been two attack instead of one attack the previous turn. Alright, so here, uh, this might be the moment where he needs a huffer. Just get a... There is a Nisha, though. This is a bit awkward for Trump. Trump is super low here. He and would normally play the Shield Maiden, but then... Like yeah, he can't actually deal with this Misha very well. What he can do is maybe just armor up, attack with armor smith into Misha, and then shield slam and play the 4 2. This is 9 points of damage with quick shot that's 7. Trump just wants to, wants to survive till Alex Straza. He needs some more heal. He needs a shield ma another shield maiden, maybe like a shield block, another shield block. Execute is okay. Trump's right. really scared of this trap at this point. Yeah, yeah, it might be snake trap, which is definitely a trap that people play. Yeah, um, and so even freezing would actually be really scary here. Because if he used a freezing trap, or if this were a freezing trap, then Trump wouldn't be able to get the 5 damage off from this uh, Shield Maiden unless he sacrificed his Armorsmith in first. 
and you definitely don't want to sacrifice your armor smith first because you want you want that to uh, generate as much armor for you as possible. Trump's any very single, happy. Here. Yeah, any single point of health matters right now because it gives you a chance to live one more turn, which will be Alex Straza's turn. So Trump has to survive two more turns. Is it yeah. possible? N not only that, but. You uh, know you can gain a lot of armor in future turns from this explosive trap in combination with your armor smith. So you armor up and you shield slam the free two. And then you possibly pass because of Unleash the Hounds. You could even consider like, I don't know, maybe even possibly playing the BGH in order to possibly gain one more armor in the next turn. But this is like definitely more stable because it, it the other play would have opened up your... Uh, Opened you up to unleash the hounds, for instance. Oh, oh. man, quick shot into That's quick the dream. shots. That's the dream. Wow. You do dream about double quick shots, so. That's actually the, the first time I've ever seen that happen in a tournament. That was impressive. And uh, Chucky's going to take game number two and tie the series versus Trump. Hunter caught that win. Trump was really close to stabilizing, though. So, um,. Impressive game, and uh, right now the series is tied. We are going to see other decks from Chucky. Uh, Trump might just bring the, the warrior again. Why not? It's a good deck. It's going to stop aggro. It's going to be enough to stop Chucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just against the rest of Chucky's lineup, I think it's going to do fairly well. Chucky is bringing the patron warrior as well, right? Or he's bringing a warrior at least. A warrior and mage. Warrior and mage. So, if it's something like a freeze mage. Wait, warlock and mage. Oh, warlock. warlock mage. Okay, yeah. so no warrior. It's pretty interesting. And so, okay, that's... we are going to be seeing mech mage. I don't think freeze mage is going to be very popular these days. Um, in this meta game where there's just so many patron warriors and so many control warriors as well, it's probably not the strongest. Yeah, I agree. And uh, people actually learn how to play um, against freeze mage. Especially with Green Patron just trying to get those armor smiths and uh, stack armor. So here we are going to see that Mech Mage versus um, Handlock. And that matchup, I think, favors Handlock. Because with, uh, with Mech Mage, you just have to yellow it, close your eyes, go for face with everything, and hope there are no mol uh, Molten Giants with the heal bots. Uh, the other way is just try abusing Mirror Entity and hope that there is something big getting into that Mirror Entity. That, that, that the handlock doesn't draw into a zombie chow or like um, ancient watcher. And Trump was one of the guys who was really popularizing zombie chow and the handlock to, to begin with. Yeah. Um, like, unlike Hunter, Mage actually doesn't have that much burst uh, at the end of the game. Like, it has two fireballs and two frostbolts, obviously, but you can't as reliably draw into them as quick shots and kill commands. And in addition, your hero power just doesn't do as much damage as the Hunter hero power. And finally, like the mech mage doesn't run any silences. So once the headlock gets past, gets like a put up a, a line of taunts, it's actually impossible for the mech mage to break through. Yeah, the only chance is though to have uh, Antonidas, maybe with um, to stealth Antonidas, and have enough time to try to get that reach and kill the headlock with that. But um, it is, I think, like 60 40 at least um, in favor of headlock. But maybe even more, like 70, 30. So the real question here is, how much does Chucky want to play into Hellfire? I don't he know, has to, He has to have in mind that most headlocks these days are running double Hellfire because of how popular Grim Patrons are. There's no Hellfire for Trump for now. And I, I, as I said in the beginning, like you sometimes have to take the risk. And uh, this is one of the matchups. You just close your eyes and go for it. And uh, that's exactly what Chucky's doing. He knows he has to take those risks. Also, having a like, Frostbolt and Fireball this early might be good for Chucky. No, a no AOE for Trump. Burn for Chucky. And uh, the fact that he can risk here, even if he loses, he's not losing the match. So he can try to take his chances with this one. Yeah. On this turn... Uh... Chucky not only has to, he knows his opponent probably doesn't have Hellfire, but now he has to kind of be wary of Shadow Flame. Okay, so there's 9 damage on board. If you go for like full face, deal 13. You still don't, don't win next turn. 
but there is like if there is a heal bot, you're dead. So look, just a simple Twilight Drake, and it's already a problem. And how much damage would you do you want to deal? Like, if you don't go for face here with everything, you basically lose the game. So you have to gamble. You just you might freeze Twilight Drake instead, but I like going for face. It's this moment, like he has the fireball. He has to hope there are no molten giants. No way to clear the board. So Trump is digging for the molten. There is an owl. Trump is not dead to the fireball yet. This means with the farce here, he's not dead to the board as well. Uh, Unless there would something be something like a Clockwork Gnome. Yeah, Clockwork Gnome was lethal actually. That's like, that's so funny. But then Lothab is dangerous here. Yeah, Trump. Uh, he unfortunately for him, he does have the anti kill bot though. So with heal bot, he's uh, back to fifteen, and that's uh, eight. So one damage of lethal. Yeah, Frostbolt was lethal here. Yeah, Frostbolt, Frostbolt isn't lethal. drawn, so probably want to see just more SM working to the face. Uh, <laughs> yes. Develop some minions. Face. Throw a fire blast to the opponent's face and just everything to face, basically. Oh man, Trump is fighting against the uh, constant pressure from Chucky, just going for face. Chucky, by this point, Chucky knows that everything is going according to his oh, plan. Oh, Shadow Flame, that's gonna be great. So, right now, Trump can actually give his opponent a zombie chow and then kill it off with like a Shadow Flame, for instance. That'll be pretty good. It's just pseudo healing for himself. Yeah, that will work, but how do you deal uh, with Lothab? Can you kill Lothab here? You can't, but as long as you get rid of the rest of the board, I think you're pretty happy. I think giving your opponent a, a zombie chow might be the only play you can do here that um, is not killing you next turn. You're dead to Fireball Ping. You know that. It's six points of mana. Can Trump see the zombie chow play? He does. I think you might even kill both these mad scientists. Just to make sure, like, a second mirror entity doesn't come out. So you basically kill double Mad Scientist, and you play one Zombie Chow into... Yeah, you can... Okay, so you play the Zombie Chow, then kill off your opponent's Zombie Chow, kill off the uh, Mad Scientist as well, and then taunt up, perhaps, and just don't use Shadow Flame. That's an option. That makes sense. Oh, this also works, just silencing the second Mad Scientist and also taunting up. I like it, it's a good turn. Um, so also, needs... Trump actually played around, um, I guess he played around Counterspell as well, like Counterspell plus uh, Mirror Entity. Yeah, it, it's definitely possible that Chucky is playing like double Mirror Entity and a Counterspell. Uh, and you don't want to lose to a random counter spell if you can play around it. Another zombie chow, look at that. If you would not silence the, the the mad scientist, but one more entity is still in the deck and he will have the zombie chow to heal himself. Siphon Soul, oh wow. Haven't seen the card in a while. Seems pretty good here. You siphon the... Uh, but what does, the, what's the sequence though? Do you attack into Mech Warper first and then siphon the 4-3? Um, yeah, but Ch or rather Trump is going for Sylvanas and I kind of like that better to go for more pressure. You can always play the, um, the Siphon Soul later. Plus you set up for a Shadow Flame on the next turn with the Sylvanas. Oh man, I just... I'm just thinking about that stealth spare part. If there's an Antonidas being drawn by Chucky, he'll be so sorry about using that stealth. But I do understand uh, what he did, and I think he, he made a good decision there. Is there a good way to... Alright, so you can just Shadow Flame now. Attack uh, one of those minions with Sylvanas, and then Shadow Flame, I believe. And you take whatever is getting dropped. You have four mana to use Defender Vargas. I think yeah. Trump is in a good position here. It's very important for Trump to actually uh, attack the correct pilot shredder. He needs to attack the one on the right because that was played after the Sylvanas. 
So he needs for that death rattle to trigger first. Yeah, he knows that. The Trump makes a correct attack here. Come on, Trump. Show us what is the minion. Is there any bad minion Trump can get here? A Doomsayer would be awkward. Uh, Lord Walker show. Okay, we are going to see a second minion from 1-1. One, one. Whoa, it's not great. Oh man, Trump's like, wow, a free 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Value! Oh, now it's the 2-2, two so it's fine. Blast Mage on Empty is not exciting, especially because he is being contested right now by those two minions. And then there is Dr. Boom, Jiraxis, Siphon Soul. What do you do? Do you like Jiraxis here? I, I guess. The, I guess the problem with Jiraxis is maybe you don't develop creatures on the board that you really want to fight your opponent with in the next few turns. Yeah. Plus, I kind of like uh, baiting out like the fireballs, for example. Yeah. It provides but, a lot of fuel. Yeah, if your opponent gets a random Antonidas, for example, and he fireballs your your face, you can uh, just like bait him into fireballing your face first, and then Jaraxxus to heal up. The problem so is you might you might be forced to play Jaraxxus now. Uh, you're taking a risk that there, there is a second fireball. Like the double fireball at pink kills you. So um, that that's the thing. Like you know that your opponent was holding to one card almost um, the whole game. But then this is only one top deck, and this is two cards, so it's really unlikely for your opponent to have those two cards. So you might, instead of making a Draxus play, which is a play not to die, and it's not really developing the board that much, you may use this one turn to develop Dr. Boom and secure a win in, uh, in two turns, still protecting yourself with Draxus next turn. So Fireball is an out, Frostbolt is great for Chucky, but it's not it, and he just has to halt it. So 13 damage on board right now, plus Jaraxxus, um, that's 16. Fortunately, not enough to lethal Chaki on the next turn, so Chaki will have at least two turns to put something together. Um, I believe he's already, used, he's already used one Frostbolt already. Yeah. So mm -hmm. a second Frostbolt is not an out. A fireball, second Fireball is an out, unless there is Jaraxxus. Oh, he actually unloads? Oh, that's going to be devastating here. This Maybe... Is... I think okay. he might be playing around Lotha, maybe. But yeah, like you said, this is game. Exactly what Trump wanted his opponent to do. He wanted to bait those uh, fireballs so that he could go into Drax's form. And now Chucky has no way of winning. He knows that and he gives up. Sigh of relief from Trump, taking that mech mage down and uh, securing a win for his handlock. Now Trump only has to win with a Contra Warrior. And Chucky has a mech mage. Which is kind of like a 50-50. I would even give, uh, I would even give a, a small edge to, to the Control Warrior there. And the last deck is Warlock. Might be Zoom, might be Handlock. So, yeah. Chucky definitely with an uphill battle here. Trump with a Control Warrior. And even though like players like Kit Kats, like Fibonacci, like Team Liquid Show are known for being the Warrior players, I think Trump is actually one of the... Also one of like the premier warrior players, the control warrior players, because he's just played that deck so much, and I believe that deck plus midrange paladin are sort of his favorite decks to play. Certainly the decks that he's played with the most, and the decks that he likes bringing to tournaments the most. It speaks a lot about his personality as well, being very, like, the slow, steady, grindy player that he is. Oh yeah, certainly. And uh, this matchup will be about the snowball from the mech mage. If mech mage is able to snowball and uh, trump Lacks the cards like Fireworks, Death Spy to stop those minions. He will be in trouble. Uh, Brawl is also important. Right now, uh, unfortunately for Trump, he doesn't have many great cards. Uh, Acolyte of Pain might prove useful. Uh, also, the play for, for from Chucky, just uh, playing that Anoyotron to play around the, the Fireworks is costing him, uh, costing him uh, a bit of damage. But um, overall, it was a correct play. And I liked it. Oh, there is a Fireworks. Look at that. But I think you do play Acolyte of Pain here. Or do you? Maybe it depends on whether Trump has a Whirlwind in, in this deck. 
if he does and he can possibly draw into the whirlwind then acolyte might seem pretty good because you would think that the three two would attack into your one three yeah it also sets up a decent death spite as well or even an execute on this three two also getting you closer to brawl so i like the fact that he's going for two cards and you know Fireworks wasn't doing that much this turn, just uh, getting out the shield and uh, giving your opponent information that, hey, there is a Fireworks. Turn three, really bad, just ping the face. There is a Death Spite. And Death Spite is really nice here. Just setting up the next turn. Wow, next turn, even if there is a bl the Blast Mage, then Trump has executes. He has all the, all the things. Yeah, pretty much, even though he had a slow start, didn't have uh, Fire War Axe in his opening hand, at least, to deal with this uh, Neutron. Still going to be pretty good here. Uh, Chaki with the very heads of play, just Frostbolting. He knows that if Trump has an Execute, it can just end the game immediately. Well, Trump's is, Trump is able to destroy his own Death Spite with Fire War Axe, but is it worth it? Maybe that Sludge Belcher that just arrived is better here. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Sludge Belching here, it forces your opponent to respond to the Belcher. And uh, after that, it pretty much forces your opponent to... Yeah, it forces a response to the Sludge Belcher, and then like, he'll have to develop something, or he'll have to play a Fireball. Either way, he won't be able to freeze your face again. But Trump goes for... He's considering another play. If you do play Fireworks, if you play Fireworks, do you execute an Iotron? Uh As weird as it sounds, it does stop, uh, it does deny the mech. And you, uh, you've seen Chucky ping you on turn 3, and Frostbolt and ping you on 4. So it's a strong signal that he's out of mechs. Even though executing an Iotron is sounds terrible, that was the correct line of play, and it saved Trump 4 points of damage to face. Oh, smart. Silent, uh, stealthing that uh, water elemental. But then there is a Sludge Belcher. Or perhaps Sylvanas. I think Sylvanas is probably the better play here. But you can't execute your own Sylvanas! I have no time. Uh, I've definitely experienced that firsthand, Dimsh. If you remember the good old ESGN days. You were there. I was actually the player who was tried to be, like, Artosis tried to execute a Sylvanas against me, if you remember correctly. Yeah. Alright, so Water Elemental is going to freeze Trump. Reduce that armor. What's the play, though? Still not really getting the mech value. Second Water Elemental seems dangerous. But then it will be easy for Trump to steal the, the second one. So, attack with Sylvanas is a 3-6. Wait. Uh, uh, wait. You, yeah, you can. Cruel, you can cruel, cruel Taskmaster, one of the fire, uh, water elementals. Yeah, and then. And uh, then attack into it. Yeah, the sequence doesn't actually matter. You can. Uh, you can attack first, and then Taskmaster, and then you shoot some. Oh wait, actually, it wait, does I matter. Think, I think you uh, cruel Taskmaster, and then Sludge Belcher. So you you end you end this turn with uh, Sludge Belcher, and uh, water elemental, and that seems yeah. pretty good to me. You're right, it's, it's much better than just uh, using Shield Slam. Okay, so that's a, a super powerful turn, actually. I was valuing Garmoring up a bit, but uh, I think at four, 14, Trump is still safe. And uh, just getting a Word of Mental, um, just healthy free sex, you know, with Freeze and uh, getting a Belcher. He still has the weapon. He's in a very good position to fight back, especially uh, having the Alexstrasza as well as a backup recovery plan. By the way, uh, Monk, you know, Trump is uh, really favoring value, and he's getting a lot of value right now. How can our viewers get the value? Oh, well, they can get value by tweeting at uh, HCC Esports with the hashtag HCC Esports. And you can actually win a ton of cool prizes, like uh, one of 12 team shirts from either TSM, Liquid, or um, Cloud9. You can win one of two tablets or even a smartphone. 
Oh pretty man, a smartphone. There. You can play Hearthstone on it, so it's pretty good. Um, by the way, Trump decided to do something to entirely else, just uh, keeping the Sylvanas and um, kind of stopping the Water Elemental from attacking. He knows that uh, Mech Mage doesn't have any silence, so he's trying to just leverage having the Sylvanas on board and keeping the, the Shield Slam. Alright, so here... Do you like just stealing the... Um, the four free. So what you can do is you can actually attack the, the water elemental with uh, Taskmaster. You can play a second Taskmaster to kill it, use them uh, to get uh, Mirror Entity out, then kill the Taskmaster on opposing side with the fireworks, and then armor up and kill your own Sylvanas with the Shield Slam to steal the four free. And then you can even armor up, right? Yeah, you do armor up anyway to, to use the, the shield slam, so. You might even play the armor smith while doing all of that. But then do you want to give armor smith to your opponents? I don't think you mind too much. There are many options, really. So he armors up, kills his own Sylvanas, a pretty nice move here. Can we say honestly that Trump is a lady killer? <laughs> uh, you could say that. I probably wouldn't, but Nimps, you are free to do whatever. Uh, you're free to say whatever you want. Well, he killed Savannah, so. Yeah, he killed Savannah and he killed Armorsmith, so I guess you could say that's two ladies he killed this turn. Yep. And it put him in a very good position, so um, that's value. No mechs for Chucky. Uh, Trump really uh, denying that mech every turn. Really well played. And now he has Grommage. Uh, it's it's not lethal, but it's a really good situation. Just uh, Alex Strauss, your opponent. It's like he doesn't really care. He's such a great spot here. It's all the tools. Now... Alright, Chucky's going to concede this. So Trump is going to win the match, the series. Trump is going to advance to tomorrow, and uh, Chucky is going to get eliminated from the tournament. Wow, Monk, that game, that match, that series. Yeah, pretty exciting there. Trump, of course, winning on his own channel. So definitely a great win for him. And, you know, Trump has been the type of player to... He's gotten fourth pretty much at every single tournament, third or fourth place. Uh, I, th I think in the past three or four tournaments in a row, he's made it to the top four, but he hasn't made it all the way. So this just might be the chance. Because the tournament is being hosted on his own channel, he has that extra effort. He has the extra luck that he needs to make it all the way to the finals, all the way to his first tournament win. And obviously he has all the skill and experience. So we've been watching Trump on this very channel almost every day for the last two years. So this might be his moment uh, again to, to get to the high places. So uh, let's look at the bracket in a moment. Uh, Trump is going to face Strife Crow. All right, so this is our bracket, guys. We're going to see Forsen versus Colento, Ties versus Hyped, Tides versus RDU, and Strife Crew versus Trump. I'm so hyped for this top eight tomorrow. We're going to show all the matches tomorrow. So tomorrow we start with this top eight, and we advance to top four, and then we get to the final, and we crown our champion who's going to take $2,500 home and be the first HTC champion. Yeah, Please I'd come. also like to point out that four HTC sponsored players made it to the round of eight, and four non HTC sponsored players made it to the round of eight. So a very even distribution there. Probably what you would kind of expect, right? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, Monk, do you have any last words for today uh, before we close down the tournament? Uh, just overall, really great games. If you enjoy those games, make sure you tweet uh, with the hashtag HTC Esports to tell them like how you enjoy those games. If like there's any feedback you'd give you can compliment their phones for example that's always great all right that's great and i, I want to give a shout out to htc our sponsor the teams that made it possible tsm team liquid cloud nine and a big shout out to you monk uh for uh co-hosting with me and uh, obviously to our viewers for staying up tonight with us uh throughout the day and uh, i hope to see you guys tomorrow so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow